Hello everyone, I'm Coach John, and today I'm going to show you how to use computer science to create art. Artists have even created their own tools to make art. Today we're going to make an art tool called Pixel Art Editor that will let you make pictures on the screen. To build our tool, we'll be using Bitsbox, a fun, easy to use app builder. To get in, you just have to click on Kids Sign In. Then get started and just click on here for the first time. Let's go. Then all you need to do is click on the new app button at the bottom. And then you want to click on invent your own app. Hi, I'm Mr. Ash from Coast Big Labs and we're going to build this pixel art editor. By the end of this project, you'll be able to create your own pixel art with this tool. So at the bottom, you'll see I've got a color palette. I'll just pick on this blue. And if we tap on each of these squares in the grid, we can create our art. And I'll change the color. I'll be helping you set up the grid, and then Mr. John will take it away to help you create the art. So in Bitsbox, we're going to start off by adding the color palette to our screen. So we're going to use the fill command on line one. And inside of parentheses, we're going to put the name of the background we're going to use. So we're going to put the apostrophe. This time we'll use the pencils, second apostrophe, and then the parentheses. If you press this green play button, you should see the color palette appear at the bottom of the screen. And the next thing we're going to do is add in the size of each of our pixels inside of the grid. So we're going to set up a variable called size and set it equal to 40. This will be how big they appear on our screen. And then I'm going to skip the line. Then I'm going to skip the line just to separate these different parts. And now I'm going to create my two buttons to print and reset the screen. So first, we're going to give them short names, print button with no spaces in between. And this is going to be a box at the bottom of our screen. So we're going to use the box command. And just like the fill command, it'll have its own set of parentheses. And the first thing we want to put in here is the position of our box. So on our screen, we're going to put the box at the X position 75. So going from left to right on the screen, we'll go 75 pixels across. And the Y position, 750. That'll be from top to bottom of the screen, it will go 750 pixels. Next, you want to put the width of your box. We're going to do 275 pixels wide and then 100 pixels tall. And we're going to make the background white. Feel free to change the color of the background of the button. Just make sure you put it inside of apostrophes. And then the outline is going to be black. Make sure you put apostrophes around your color names and then close that parentheses off. If I press the play button, and you should see that the box shows up at that position and at that size that we put in our code. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing for our reset button. So we'll name it reset button. And again, it's going to be the box command, but we're going to move it to a different position. So I'm going to use 405 for the X position, so it's a little bit to the right. 750, so they're both in the same position from top to bottom of the screen. 275 for the width, 100 for the height, and then we'll just make a match, white background, black outline, and press the play button, and you should see the second button there. Now I'm going to add in the text so that you know which button does what. So I'm going to skip a line again just to make it easier to read. We're going to have the print text, and we're going to set it equal to the text command. And the text command takes the word that you want to put in there. So inside of apostrophes, I'm going to put in the word print and a comma. And then I'm going to put it at the position that I want it to show up in. For this one, since I want it to be inside of the box, I'm going to put in 100 for the X, 835 for the Y, and then 100 for the size. If I press the play button, you should see that the print word print shows up inside of the box. So I'll do the same thing for the reset button. 
oops, the reset text. And we'll set it equal to the text command, but this time we'll say, it says reset in there. We'll have to adjust the X and Y position so they show up in the middle of the other button. So 415 for the X, 335 for the Y, 100 for the size. So we'll hit the play button. Now you should see we've got our print and a reset set up. 